Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a little bit before that. Um, I got out a little bit later than I wanted to. I was trying to get out at 7, but I got out like I left, I think I left my house like 7 15. Um, I didn't get no Uber the whole way to Claremont, and then I got in Claremont right past the ramp for 27. And I got one and it's for mascot. So I'm going to mascot to pick up this person. My destination is set for nine o'clock for Claremont. So I'm going to hope that I'm not going into Leesburg or like somewhere crazy because it's gonna take me 18 more minutes to get there and it's 7.55. So it doesn't really give me a lot of time to go like into Leesburg and stuff to hit the destination by nine o'clock. So I'm hoping that I'm coming back to Claremont, which would be nice because then it's like, I don't know, makes it worth it, I guess, because it brings me back. Um, but that's where I'm at today. I did get a tip come through at like 4 a.m. for the passenger that I dropped off at the airport yesterday. So that was a $4.93 tip. So I don't know if they, I think they're gonna include that for today honestly oh no they don't okay so it came through for yesterday so whatever total I say that I made for Wednesday you got to add another four dollars and ninety three cents because the tip came through super late all right you guys he is dropped off and of course he got dropped off like almost right why the light where I, I turned around at so that is crazy um, I'm offline just so I can go and use the bathroom and then I'm gonna get back online, schedule my destination for Claremont for like an hour, hour and a half away, and see, I need, I think, nine more for the first quest. So I definitely wanna hit that today. Okay, so I had stopped at Winn-Dixie to use the bathroom, and as soon as I turned back Uber and got in the car, I got on my next passenger. I literally have to go right across the street to pick them up. Hopefully, I'm gonna go out at the light. That way it makes it easier for me to get out of here. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to make a left turn because sometimes it's a lot of traffic over here. So I'm gonna go to the light and then go across the street, pick up my next person. Of course, now I'm getting a DoorDash order too. No, 375. Let's see, am I gonna be able to do it? Should I just go to the light? No. Let me go to the light. Back up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Actually, I wanted to tell y'all that, I don't know like if he works at night or something, but this man was legit snoring in the back seat. And I, it took everything in me to not laugh because it was hilarious. Sometimes, I don't know if it, he would wake himself up because he was snoring so loud. But, oh my goodness, y'all. That's a first. I think pick up my next passenger. I'm almost there to pick her up. I'm assuming it's a her by the name. I don't really know. Sometimes, it's, you know, somebody, might, uh, somebody else might order them the Uber. I don't know. Um... The last one, I forget what I got for that. I think I told y'all already. Um, so I'm picking up this person now. I stopped my request, took off my destination, and once I drop them off, I'll put all that stuff back on because I found that's the best way. Otherwise, I don't wanna use my one destination up or two destinations up and then it's sending me requests afterwards, you know? So it's kind of better that I stop them and then take off the destination for each one. All right, my next Uber passenger is up. I'm heading to pick them up now. I think they're like three miles away. Yeah, it was like a little over three miles away and it's heading towards my destination. So that's good. No, I'm not going like way far out. Um, I did have to stop and get gas. So I took like a, a break, what do you call that? I paused Uber. Um, just to get gas, I did use my get, uh, not get upside, my upside app. So I used to say get upside because I said that for like two years. Um, but my get upside app, I just did it again. Y'all, 
I just used my Upside app to get gas, which we all know we could use any extra cash back um, that we can because gas prices just keep rising. Every day it seems like it's going up a little bit more. Um, so I think I just got 10 cents cash back. Plus it said I have a 15 cents um, bonus on top of that. Um, so every little bit helps. If you don't have the Upside app, and you want to download it to save money on your gas purchases as well, look in the description of my videos and I have a code that will give you a bonus after you fill up for the first time. I think after I finish up my 10 trips for the day, I'm going to turn off Uber and try and focus on Instacart and DoorDash and if that doesn't work, I'll turn back on Uber. I just don't want to get stuck doing the passengers if I if I don't have to for the because the promo I, I won't be able to reach 30 trips in one day that's just not possible for me because it's already 11 o'clock um, I'm trying to be able to just get the goal to get the extra hundred and ten dollars and then hit my personal goal of the 150 um, after I hit the 10 passengers, if that makes sense, you know? So 10 passengers today, then I'm done with Uber. I'm gonna try and focus on DoorDash and Instacart. And I keep checking DoorDash to see if I can get on it. Not yet, I was this morning, but then I was busy with the Uber. So, so far it's just been the Uber passenger, but it's about to be lunchtime. So hopefully I can schedule myself with that. I got her dropped off and I she gave me a $5 cash tip so that was really nice um, I think I need four more passengers and then I'm done with uber for the day this is actually a pretty okay order I would say it's not the best six dollars for 3.5 miles for DoorDash I'm literally right by Paisano. So let me just take that, pause Uber. Well, let me go offline with Uber. Since I'm not really in a rush, cause I, it's only 1130, I'm sure I can get them. So that Uber gave me 550 for her trip. Um, total is, yep, six, oh, I need four more passengers, y'all. That said, I, uh, sorry y'all, I'm scatterbrained. Uber says I've done six trips today, so the Quest just didn't update yet. Um, I went offline, so I'm gonna just go over by Paisano's because I literally just dropped the lady off in this parking lot. So I had just pulled up into an empty space just to fix back Uber, but now I can go park over by the parking for Paisano's and then put my five dollars in my wallet or in my bag anyways so it's not just chilling in the car uh, but I'll be back y'all My next order is up. I just went offline with Uber again because I did take another DoorDash order. It is for Chick-fil-A this time. Wow, I'm, oh, I was gonna say my picture's blurry, but it's not. <laughs> it's for 4.8 miles for 8.50. And for the last one, it was like what? Three point something miles, 3.5 miles. And my base pay was $3. So that was very strange. Right, so I got the Chick-fil-A dropped off. Uh, I'm pretty sure I told you all about Chick-fil-A. And I did have to wait like two or three minutes for it. And when I was heading back, like I had just got back almost a turn on the main road. And I got an Uber for the neighborhood that I dropped off the pizza to. So, and it's actually the same neighborhood as the Chick-fil-A drop off to. It's just a really big neighborhood. Um, so I just made a left instead of making a right and I am 0.2 miles away from picking up this person. I had set my destination, so I'm hoping that they're not going too far. Um, and then I paused DoorDash and I went offline with 
Instacart completely. I got her dropped off. She went um, like five or six miles. I need three more passengers, y'all. I'm like, after I do this DoorDash that I took, I should be about halfway to 150 for my goal. So that's good. It's 12.53, so it's pretty much one o'clock. Um, I'm pulling into Popeyes because they did send me a DoorDash right after I dropped her off. And it was to go in the same neighborhood. I was like literally passing the house that the Popeyes is going to when I got the order. Oh, snap. The drive through line is long, so I don't know if the inside is open. But it's for 1.8 miles for 625. And now I am a little bit nervous. Oh no, I see people inside. Okay, so that's good. I don't know why there's maybe people just don't like getting out of their car. I don't know. But I'm gonna go inside. Or well, I'm gonna hurry up inside so I can try and get this person's order and get it dropped off. No more Popeyes for me. Literally took forever. Probably like 15 minutes of waiting for that. No, not again, not today. Ridiculous. All right, you guys. So I am heading to pick up my next passenger. Um, and now I'm going to have an officer behind me. Wonderful. Um, they are one and a half miles away. I really hope they're not going to the airport because I had just, just set my destination for like 2.45, which is an hour and 10 minutes from now. So I'm a little nervous. Um, I guess it is what it is at this point. Can't take it back. I already took it. Um, so I guess we'll see where they're going. I'm picking them up from their house. I've been in this neighborhood a couple times, so I know it's houses in there. Maybe they're going to work. I don't know. Oh man, y'all. I am exactly like halfway to my goal as well for the 150 goal that I have for myself. And I was hoping to hit it by like five. So it's like crunch time. That was an airport drop off. I just knew it. When I changed the time to 2.45, I just knew it. I was like, this is going to take me to the airport. And it did. They were super nice though. Um, it's a lot of traffic today to get to the airport. Like um, to the terminal. So it was... A little crazy and then nobody wants to let you over and you're trying to get over your and then the people that don't let you over want to get in front of you anyways and I'm like why couldn't you just let me over I could have went over you could have went over at the same time but no I don't understand y'all people just they're so rude now I have to figure out how to get out of the airport again I think I'm getting pretty good at the airport stuff as long as they're coming from like Claremont um, because the first time I came here from the pickup that was in Orlando, it was a little confusing. I missed a turn, but from Claremont, it's easy. You just get on the turnpike, then you get off on the exit for the airport, and then you get off, you stay towards the airport, and it, there you go. Um, but I'm going to head home. Well, not home, but head towards Claremont and see what we can get for the rest of the day, y'all. It's 2.30. So I'm going to up my time now to hopefully by 6 I can be done because this was a further trip. So maybe I got like 20 bucks for it. Yes, $20, $21 for that. So that was nice. So that means I need like $55 for the rest of the day, I think. And then I hit my 150 goal. Okay, so I had set my destination and I just got an Uber that's going towards my destination. So y'all know I took it because I only need, I think, like two more before I hit the quest. So of course I took that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm at 48. So this will be number 49. And then I'll need one more, y'all. One more. And I'm pretty sure the airport people did give me a tip. Let's see. I received a $7.98 tip. Yep. For the airport trip, which is awesome. So I need to add that to my total. So 
plus 7.98. I need 45 more dollars to hit my 150 goal. Y'all, I am on a roll today. I am so happy because I am so tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Then maybe I'll get to take a nap today. That would be nice. Um, but that is where I'm at. I'm heading to pick up my next passenger. So I took my next Uber passenger and it'll be my last Uber passenger, y'all, at least for this week. Um, I'm not going to do it tomorrow at all because that's not my main focus. That I was just doing it because they had a promotion going on. And I know they have one for the weekend, but I will not be working. Um, definitely not Sunday so there's really no point in me even trying so Friday Saturday if I work Saturday no uber for me um, I'm a mile from my next passenger and I'm super happy to be <laughs> almost done y'all and it's a lady's name so that's good I don't know how far she's going because it did say that it was towards my destination and I had set my destination um, for Claremont so we'll see how this goes okay so after I stopped taking the Ubers it kind of went downhill <laughs> um, I was able to schedule a DoorDash I mean a Dash so that was good but after the last one that I took it did go towards my way a little bit um, I received a $3 tip. The people that I got, the last Uber that I took gave me $1 tip. The $3 tip came from the lady that I dropped off earlier at the hair salon next to the Paisanos right before I did the Paisanos pickup on DoorDash. Um, I did a 7-Eleven order for alcohol. That was my first DoorDash when I had like hit Claremont because it was the one right by the Turnpike and that was for 650 it was 5.6 miles but i was still on my way so that's why i took it i was like two and a half miles away still um it stayed 650 which was kind of crappy but it is what it is um doordash i guess has a new system on how to verify the people's identity so it says verify the customer's identity and collect a signature when delivering alcohol orders it says you'll see a photo of the customer's id in the app during drop off verify that the customer's identity matches the id before you hand them any items remember handling alcohol handing alcohol to anyone below the age of 21 is illegal so then it says verify the customer's identity and collect a signature before you hand them any items and i did that Make sure the person receiving the order is the customer in the photo. If someone else comes to accept the order, tap, I need help. And if nobody is present to take the order or the customer is visibly intoxicated, tap, I need help. I didn't have to do that, so that was good. And then, so that order was at 425 that I was pulling up, I think, or almost there. My next order was until just now at 519 for Panera. I had to wait a few minutes for the Panera for 6.6 .6 miles for 1050, but I was getting literally nothing, nothing. No Instacart on the screen, no DoorDash, nothing. So I'm like, I'm just gonna take it. I just dropped it off. I got $12 for that and the base pay was $3. So I don't understand how the base pay was $3 when it was six point something miles doesn't make sense the base pay is supposed to be 475 for seven miles that was almost seven miles and you're telling me i only got three dollars base pay well, what's up with that um but i got 12 dollars for that so that's good i literally need 14 dollars and two cents to hit my 150 goal and it's 554 right now i really like every time i set like a time limit for myself i never hit it it's it's so hard for me i don't know why it's like i put that out in there in the air and they're like okay we're gonna keep you out till eight o'clock like bro i need 14 more dollars please come on i want to go home you know um i thought i was going to be able to be heading home i should have just kept uber on 
but I didn't like I don't want to do the rides because there's no more quests for me but I don't know y'all I'm struggling now I need 14 more dollars to hit my 150 goal y'all I am so annoyed it's been like 15 minutes and I've gotten no order finally just now got one for Chili's and I don't like going to Chili's because I always have a problem but it's like I'm not getting all the orders they're sending me right now are like 10 and 12 miles one was just the, the last one they just sent me that I declined was 12 miles for 525 like come on people you live 12 miles from the store and you can't tip no that's just crazy to me um so now there's a 17 dollar batch oh i'm taking that one i'm getting off of the doordash y'all and then that is so much better let me get off this dang order now i need to turn around and go the other way anyways let me try and get off of this doordash can't do this order mm, something else and let me turn here because now I'm gonna end my dash no I want to end my dash End dash hello how many times do I need to press it I'm going to the liquor store whoop, whoop. Did I even get a picture? I don't know. I did. For $17.79, 2.8 miles for two items, five units, $17, y'all. So I will be done after this finally. Oh my gosh. It's only taken me till almost seven o'clock. It's 6.20 right now. So by the time I get done with this, it's gonna be like seven o'clock. So. Oh my gosh, unbelievable y'all. Today was a day. It started off good and I was like kind of busy I thought to myself anyways. Um, the airport ride I think threw me off a little bit and then I should have kept on Uber. But anyways, I'm heading for my last one now. Thank goodness because I'm hungry and ready to go home. That was easy peasy. I was in and out in less than five minutes. I did use the rest of restroom while I was in there and now I'm heading to deliver and it says 2.9 miles for seven minutes. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go over today. I'm gonna try and do it pretty quickly. Today was a very long day. Let me look at my first order like from this morning. I took it at 7.50. My last order, let me see what time I took it, 6.19. So I would say from like 7.30 to probably 6.30 today. Long day. Um, I did get my first Uber passenger ca cash tip um, for $5, so that was pretty awesome. That's always super exciting, and it was my first my first cash tip from an uber passenger um all together with uber um i i'm gonna give you two totals for the day um but with uber i did a total of 200 dollars and 98 cents plus the five dollar cash tip really um so it was really 205 um a 110 of that is promo so i really um aimed today to hit my 150 goal like y'all know and I did. So with Uber, I did 10 trips. I think most of the, I think all of them are actually um, passengers. I don't think I did any Uber Eats today. Um, I did the one Instacart order for the alcohol for $17.79. That was the best ride because it, I was in and out and delivered in the ID scanned. Like I barely even got my camera app open in the ID scanned. Um, with DoorDash, I did $40. That's for two different dashes, five trips in total. Um, so my total for the day 
was 153.77. That's not including the 110 promo. If you include the 110 promo, it would be 263.77. So today was a really good day for me because of the promo. It's like free money, y'all. Um, I won't be, like I said, I'm not going to be working, um, doing deliveries for passengers tomorrow or Saturday and because I'm not working Sunday. So it just doesn't make sense to pick a promo if I'm not going to be doing it. Um, I did 16 trips today, so average per trip was about $9, and then I did an average my per hour. It was a long day, so I'm sure it wasn't great anyways, um, but I hit my goal. That's all that matters to me. I was home by 8 o'clock, which is awesome. I'm, o I'm always like that, you know? Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or if you have any pointers for me, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And have a great night. A young boy being may dream. And in the dream...